Nowadays, in the MMO and even the gaming genre, companion apps that give you an added bonus to the game aren't unheard of. Although not quite as popular as they were 5-10 to 10 years ago, it's still a great feature to have for time-consuming games like MMORPGs, allowing you to do things such as check your auctions, catch up with your guild to see what's happening in the game, and Ashes of Creation will be no different in that aspect, as the devs have stated numerous times that a companion app is in development for the game. But to get a good understanding of companion companion apps, we'll need to look at some of the best, such as, uh, no, uh, no, no, not that, uh, wow, these f***ing suck. Okay, so maybe we won't look at those. But, that doesn't mean that Intrepid has to follow suit with making their app utterly useless. As long as they give it continued support, they have already won up the rest of the gaming industry as these apps seem to die off really quickly. So, let's take a look at what exactly they have planned for this. In a game like Ashes that has you devoting a lot of time to the ever-changing world of Vera, it's good to know what's going on within your server. Whether that be a siege, a world event, or your in-game wife filing for divorce, Having the companion app will give you all of these notifications, which will help you prepare for what you may be logging into later. And it's completely optional. Nothing on the mobile app will make you feel like you have to have it or you're gonna miss out on something else. It just gives you cool perks when you're out on the road. The Ashes of Creation companion app won't just be for world notifications though. It ties into many of the mechanics and services in the game, offering some functionality to them. You won't be doing an entire dungeon or raid on your phone, but you will be able to check those raid times in your guild calendar so you won't be late. Intrepid plans to have a whole host of guild features on their website as well, and I'd be willing to bet that a lot of them get translated to this app, along with the usual admin features you'd come to expect, and hopefully even guild chat so you can stay in touch with the guild outside the game if you need to. Being a mayor of a node, you'll have certain duties to uphold, whether that be deciding which buildings you want to create, or raising the taxes. A lot of these functions will also be available in the palm of your hand at the grocery store. You'll also have the ability as a freehold owner to manage your crop rotations along with managing your NPC farmhands from the app. Farmhands are NPCs that live on your freehold and help manage your crops, plant new ones, and sell the harvested ones. Do you have goods for sale on a node stall? Well, even on the toilet, you can make shit happen. Although unknown if you will actually be buying and selling stuff on the auction house from the app, you will hopefully at least have the ability to see the status of your sales and collect the gold to send to your player's inventory. And you can really do it all in this app. You can even do things such as pay taxes you may owe to nodes for your houses or market stalls, getting that real life feel of your favorite time of year, tax season. But Intrepid doesn't seem to be stopping there, as there are talks of doing full in-game functions such as fishing and parlor games. Obviously, you won't be logging into the World of Vera on your phone, so this would more than likely function a little different than it does in the game, giving you a more Hearthstone vibe to it rather than walking into a tavern, sitting down with other players and competing in a minigame. Fishing, I'd also imagine, would be more like a mobile minigame. You're not going to be running around hunting for fishing spots throughout the world. That just wouldn't make sense for a companion app, and you more than likely wouldn't be able to embark on deep sea fishing, it would just be the Coalstone Lake fishing. As you can imagine, a lot of this app is still in the planning stage, and some of it may even come post-launch, but Intrepid has loads of plans for things like this and tie-ins on the websites, giving players the abilities to immerse themselves even more into the world of Vera. There will be a character page on the Ashes of Creation website showing you what your character looks like, achievements you have unlocked, your class status, your backstory, which is a cool role-playing feature that will allow you to establish your character a little more with what is called a journal history. It's said to have an out-of-game component similar to making a character sheet for Dungeons & Dragons that other players can see in-game. And I'm sure that this sort of thing would be tied into the companion app as well, so you can jump in and see what your friends are wearing and read their backstory, see what specs they're doing and all of that, just because you like being that nosy friend. Anyways, let me know your thoughts on a companion app in Ashes of Creation, and is it something that you'd be willing to use if it's done right? Otherwise, if you're new to Ashes and have yet to make an account, feel free to use my referral link in the description below. Everything generated from that referral link is going to help benefit the channel in the long run. Otherwise, be sure to hit that subscribe button, click that thumbs up, turn on the bell for notifications, and stay tuned for a lot more to come.